Hello. It's um, hello from Alaska. And this is the campsite we're about to go to bed in. Just there, we found this little uh, hut thing um, here. <laughs> um, mosquitoes are prevalent. <laughs> and um, it's quite beautiful here in Alaska. Um, we're still going by Yukon time on our watches and it is currently uh, two minutes to midnight. And if you're into Iron Maiden, uh, it's a song. Yeah, two minutes to midnight. Yeah, uh, or it could be something to do with the countdown to the apocalypse. Anyhow, it's not either of those. It's um, where we are currently camping. And as you can see, blue skies above. Um, it's very difficult to sleep around here. Um, we've been on the road since 10 o'clock this morning. The, um, sorry about the jerky video, I've turned the gimbal off and just holding the camera. Um, yeah, we sat on the road 10 o'clock this morning. We got to Beaver Junction. Um, had a pretty bad meal. It's the first meal I've had in the US where I haven't tipped. It just wasn't worth tipping. Bad service. Um, then we had terrible luck at the customs. We had two hours in the customs. They didn't want to renew our Esther. Works out. We read the uh, fine print mosquito. Uh, the fine print wrong. The the long and the short of it in in Esther terms, it's changed over the years that technically now you have to leave North America, which includes Canada and Mexico. So we can't get our Esther re uh, renewed just like that. It doesn't work like that anymore. Um, the guys were very forgiving and they told us they'll renew it one more time and then that's it. So I've got 90 days left to be in the US. Um, which leaves me until September the 24th, I think. Is it 24th or 27th? 24th. 24th. Thank you. We've both got the same thing, same problem. So, yeah, that makes it a little bit complicated. Um, but it doesn't really matter. I should be in Mexico by, by August. Um, so that's all good. Um, but if I want to return to the US, any future to times I'm going to have to get a work visa. That might happen, eh? Anyhow, lots of uh, wildfires around here at the moment. So a lot of the trails have been closed off. Luckily this one's open. Um, I spoke to someone I was a couple of days ago and they said that there are currently 300 wildfires in Alaska at the moment. It's a lot. Um, anyhow, we found a little hunting hide over there. We've got our food stashed up there. And what else can I tell you? Well, it's, a, it's a kind of a real big one, isn't it? Um, Stefano, we, um, we, sorry, I'm jabbering here because I'm really tired. Um, we were in a restaurant just now and it's the first civil meal that we've well, first restaurant that we've had with only civility had a proper menu with real things on the menu that weren't just deluxe burger um, and we thought yeah it's time to splash out we we'll order some real food and they had a salad bar and everything else it was great and um, we, saw, we got approached by this old couple who had seen us earlier on in the day when they drove past us and they wanted to know where we were going and what our story was. And I said to Stefan after they left us and we ordered up our food, I bet they'd buy us our dinner. And sure enough, they came back later on as we were eating our food and they were just about to leave and they said, we just pay for your dinner. So we just got a huge pizza and a salad bar paid for. We didn't get their names, so a little bit bad about that. But um, yeah, lovely couple. 
Um, so we've got the rest of our pizza hanging up there and it's certainly no paleo dinner. But it felt good. It felt good to have some food. Um, anyhow, it's going to be a late, late night for us tonight. 12.03. Um, I don't know what time we're waking up, but I'm sure it'll be daylight when we do. Anyhow, enough from us. Night-night. No,